maybe what we should do is we should have some kind of like um, signs or some arrows on the floor. I'm Phil Baird, I'm an artist working on the Open Source Commission. Like, so it's like that. Definitely. I'm Erin Newell, I'm an artist working on the Open Source Commission for Life Online. These are drawings that Adrian did from the designers and it's really good to see how many um, blocks we can... We're a couple, so we're, we're together and we always talk about what we do uh, amongst ourselves. So we both have slightly different interests. Erin's um, more artistic and I guess I'm more from the technology side. And it looked like a great opportunity to explore something which um, sort of transcended both of those areas. And it'd be a good, a good thing for us to work on together as well, because I think we felt like together we could create something that alone we couldn't do. So Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you're tall, you can give yeah. it to a kid. It works, yeah. quite, works both ways. Yeah. I was so excited about the um, opportunity of the commission. I just said, Phil, we have to come up with an idea for this because this really is going to merge both of our um, backgrounds. Well, the blocks have just arrived. They are very nice. I think that is a pal wood. It was a nightmare getting them into the flat because they're about 85 pounds per pack, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is heavy. Well, our artwork is um, in three stages. Uh, it's a, on the thesis of open source about people working under a set of guidelines to build something and uh, a visitor will either go to a website or come into the gallery to interact with our artwork and they'll either get a set of guidelines based on what an online user has drawn to create the piece in a physical sense with these blocks and then the people that visit our um, website will see the their artwork being built online. See, you can draw. It's a beautiful flower. It's a sunflower. There's 1,500 blocks and 9,000 sides had to be painted and I had seven days to do it to meet the deadline to be here and that was a big challenge because 9,000 sides for one person is a lot of work but yeah that first day it was just figuring out if we can roll them um, or paint them so I think I, I rolled um, in the package at about 500 and then hand painted about 200 but it took about two or three hours to do 200 blocks. Uh, it's really exciting to be here. We're installing it, for me personally anyway. Um, this is an exciting moment, but the most exciting time will be when people start to use this. And uh, I can't wait for that really, I suppose. And it'll be here for a while as well, so there's gonna be a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of material generated with the project. And, mm. you know, I think it'll be very interesting and that's exciting when someone st people start to use it. Okay, so this is a console here where you can see which blocks are to be positioned in the wall. It shows you what colour block it is and it gives you a grid reference as well. So at the moment it's showing a yellow block on here and it's telling me where in the wall I'm going to put that block. So what I'll do is I'll go and get a block, I'll take the block out if there's one already in the wall and I'll place a new block in. And then I'll come back here and I'll, what I do is I just touch the screen and it tells me which block I now need to place. So I just keep doing that until I've created a picture or I'm feeling like I've probably done enough for the day. And that's how it works.